Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. This time we're going over these figures from the Fox movies from Hasbro. Keep in mind that I don't have the SDCC Logan and Professor X 2 pack, but these are all great figures in their own right, and will be judged as such, ranked from worst to best. Let's get to it. So in last place we have Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and I find that she's not really that great a figure. She's very bland as far as the Marvel Legends go, very standard female body. I believe this is reuse on the lower half of the body, whereas more up top you get more pieces that aren't brand new, such as the head. It looks very accurate to the actress. I love the hair, how it swoops down a little bit. I wish we could get that for Gwen for the Spider-Verse, this kind of hairstyle, but alas, not to be. I like the face that's very sort of bland, although it's kind of a blandish character in a way where she just sort of like shrugs at everything and doesn't really care too much. It works really well. As far as the head goes, I like the earring, the single earring over here. Looks very nice. The hair sculpting is really good and the paint's very nice too with the dark lipstick. The head goes up and down this much and swivels all around. We have some nice tilt. She can get a little attitude in there a little bit. Looks pretty good. The chest area is really nice. We have this nice paint over here. It isn't really that great though. It looks better over here, but as we get to the edges, it starts to fade out to the black. On the back, it looks pretty good too, at least. This nice seam right here with a little more detail up there. That's pretty good. Silver collar and whatnot. We have silver shoulder pads over here that look really nice. The arms go out this much and down this much all the way around as usual. Single jointed elbow right here doesn't really, kind of cuts 90 a little bit. It's all right. A little very textured over here. It looks pretty nice. Swivels around and goes up and down. As far as the hands, I like these hands because okay, I can identify them by who's wearing them with this yellow on here. Goes down this much, up this much, and around. She also comes with alternate hands as well, right over here, and that's pretty neat. Fists and stuff. She also comes with these fire pieces, and I kind of wish she came with more. That's my only thing, at least with the accessories. As far as that goes, her accessories are very standard kind of bland in a way. We have these stripes over here that are pretty nice. They look good, kind of marred by the seam right here. Her legs go out this far and up this far, not too great down. You can kind of swivel them around a little bit. You can actually pull them off if you want to. Yeah, uh, it's broken up over here by the swivel on the leg. And also we have this little, you know, code over here. Goes down this much up this much. Doesn't really kick the does it kick the butt? No, it doesn't even come close. That's a shame. Swivel at the calf. Down. Up. Very far. That's that's at least good. And ankle pivot. Two holes at the bottom of the feet. Very bland figure. And oh the belt. The belt's nice. That's a good thing I like. At least we've a little little more stuff. I think it's glued on very tightly, or it's a brand new piece. I'm not sure. At least the whole bottom torso at least. But a pretty okay figure. If you want to pick her up, you should because of the other figure in the pack. But other than that, Megasonic Teenage Warhead is very bland and not really worth your time. Having not watched the newer X-Men films, I'm not really particularly a fan of this character, Magneto, at least the Fastbender version. As far as the head sculpt goes, it's kind of nice. It's, it looks like he's smiling for a school photo. Kind of weird. Doesn't really look too menacing or anything. I like the sort of V on the head sculpt as well. Looks pretty nice there. Head swivels around, goes up this much, down this much. You get some tilt in there, that's pretty nice. The cape is pretty cool. It can peg in the back. Although you just gotta keep it pegged, it's pretty good. Doesn't really match the version, the older version, but matches the newer version of Magneto at least, the Fastbender one, not the Ian McKellen one. It swivels at the chest, goes up and down a little bit and out. The detents are, I haven't really touched this figure until, since I opened it. Was that that far? Goes up, hindered by the cape a little bit. It can go all the way around if you want it to. The arms go up this much. Not really that great at least. Swivels it around with the hand. Goes, doesn't really go up too much. Goes down an okay bit. The articulation is really kind of poor on this. It's more for just the fact that you want the figure at least. Comes with It comes with two hands that are outspread. And it comes with two hands that are fists. You can swap those out at your leisure. The legs go out this far, in this far. He doesn't have any waist swivel. I think he doesn't. Or either, this is a very loose piece right here, I guess. Oh, it's a little, it's weird. So this piece is very loose on, on here, this 
lower stomach guard. Goes out this much, over. Sitting position is pretty good. Doesn't go too far back as far as the leg. You can go in this much. Doesn't really, doesn't really touch the butt at all. It's a shame. Boot cuff, uh, boot cuff swivel, swivel up here. Goes down over here. Pretty good. Goes up pretty far. I like the boots. They look kind of nice. The legs, the pants are good too. I mean, from the waist down, he's a good figure. But I just don't really find that it's really that great of a figure. Uh, ankle pivot as well. Peg holes at the bottom of the feet. He's got treads. I like treads on my on my boots on my figures. Yeah, there's a little arrow motif going on with here, arrows and stuff. But as far as the heads, you can swap it off for the Ian McKelling Magneto, but it's not really accurate. I'd recommend getting a Kylo Ren figure and using that, at least. I like this, actually. This actually looks pretty good. It kind of matches the aesthetic a little bit. I mean, if you didn't want complete accuracy, this would suffice, at least. This would be pretty good. But getting a little closer up. Move that. And then here's the fast bender head. Don't really know what he looks like, so I can't really comment that much on this. Looks fine. Looks okay. I see this guy being a good Norman Osborn for Gamerverse or something. Taking that off. The Ian McKellen head. Super good. Really nice. I like this a lot. The hair is a little bit iffy, but what a great likeness. Looks really cool to me. But yeah, I just probably keep it like this in my collection. I mean, I'm more of a fan of the older ones anyways. They look pretty cool. It isn't the best figure out of anything, but, you know, it's okay. So a lot of you are probably going to yell at me and wonder why I'm putting this so low, and it's this jacket. I hate it. <laughs> There's a lot of just, I mean, I don't get all the dirt on him. I mean, yeah, it looks nice, but it just looks like dirt. Just, I don't know. Eh, maybe I never really liked the scene this was in or never saw the movie. I have a very passing resemblance to the other older movies. I kind of picked everything up when, you know, Iron Man came in and I started getting into the Marvel MCU movies. But let's get to it. So, head sculpt, very good. Hugh Jackman right there. Great he great hair, great everything. I love this. The thing I hate is this. What even is this? There's no bottom teeth, kind of. Looks horrible. I hate this head sculpt a lot. I mean, ah, uh, but yeah, ah, uh, it's more uh, than ah. Uh. Yeah, uh, good hair sculpt, but the face is horrible. I kind of hate it a lot. I love this head. This is really good. The jacket can kind of come off. The head goes down this much. Up uh, that much. It's actually, I don't think it's even on a ball. It's on one of these little double ball peg things, uh, barbells. That's pretty neat. Arms go out this much. Go up pretty far. Goes around this much. It's hindered by the jacket a little bit. He also comes with spare fists for each hand. He comes with these claws. I don't know. I don't want to take them off. I'm not really a big fan of that. They look great, though. They finally have we have really good claw hands. It's nice. So over here, uh, he has a diaphragm. Oh no, a, a chest crunch actually. Sorry. I like this pattern right here. That looks pretty good. That's a good pattern right there. He has a tank top underneath. A little bit of foreshadowing. I like this gold in the belt. So over here, legs go out pretty far. That's really nice. A lot of good range on these. Sitting position is pretty good. Goes back. Not really that far. Where the oh wow wow hey nice I like it a lot. I like this a lot. that's really good. Jeez good job. Swivel over here. They were listening or something. Swivel over here. No swivel down there. Down this far. Up this far. It's hindered by the pants. It's a shame. Pivot and peg holes there. So that's it. It's Wolverine. The other head is garbage. You can probably kit bash and swip swap and swap between different Wolverines. But this is a great. I mean, it's a good Wolverine. I love the head sculpt. That's the best thing about it. And the claws are good, too. This is more of a Patrick Stewart thing than anything. This is a regular old body mold suited body without, like, you know, just... I mean, it's different, at least. This leg keeps coming off, by the way. Just got to mention that. Yeah, uh, Patrick Stewart likeness is very good. Um, me not having the other version. I wish I had, the, I had that one. Wish I got it. I could have, but I didn't. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the blood. That's my big issue. I'm not a fan of the blood on those claws in that other version, the SDCC 2-pack. Great head right here. Great head sculpt. I love it. It looks a lot like Patrick Stewart when he was younger. That's pretty neat. I like this over here. The vest is really nice. It's all one part. I wish it was like multiple pieces. The vest and the jacket could be different. You could take it off and put it back on, whatever, but you can't. I like the red over here. 
And yeah, it's just kind of it. It's a regular suited body. He comes with a lot of hands, a lot of heads. He comes with your standard holding hand, because they holding hand for a gun, and your standard holding hand just for regular. But you can actually do it where you can make it like Chameleon, or you can make it like other figures that have those same kind of hands. So they knew what they were doing. They were trying to appease to the kit fashery in people. Uh, it goes up this much, uh, swivels up this much with that. Swivel around, chest crunch is hindered by the jacket. Goes up pretty far, it doesn't hit the butt. Goes around on the top, nothing on the bottom. Down, up, pivot, peg holes. No, 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 no peg holes. Did I get detective figure? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, McAvoy head sculpt, pretty good. I'm gonna stick with Stewart, because I like Patrick Stewart a lot. Oh, this is pretty good for something. Was McAvoy ever a Lex Luthor? Because this would be a good kind of young Lex Luthor. I'm not sure. He comes with outspread hands right here. He comes with the hands that I mentioned before, like that. He comes with only one of his mental mind hand things, which is why I had him doing this kind of thing when he was posed in the wheelchair before. And the wheelchair itself, this is really cool, comes in two different pieces. You could split it apart or put it back together. Looks really nice. I love this thing. This is one of my favorite accessories of 2020, I think. I had a list of that. These don't move in the front. These, these don't really move right here. It looks really great. You can actually probably put some hands on there and have it, you know, wheeled around. It's very accurate to figures here. You can do a wheelie. Yeah, uh, I love this wheelchair. It's a great accessory. And you'll see why I like this figure a lot. But I'm just going to probably keep him in the wheelchair. Yeah, the real reason I got this is you could actually kit bash this guy to be a J. Jonah Jameson from the animated series. You know, take this head off and put on the head and hands from the comic retro J. Jonah or the one from the Chameleon, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Looks like it's a great figure. Well worth it. Magneto's actually pretty cool too. I mean, it's a solid two-pack. It's nice. But let's move on. Mystique is next. I love this sculpt so much. It's beautiful. Her feet are tiny. Why? I. That's my big complaint with this. It's really kind of hard to get her to stand, and as much as I try right now, it won't work because, I don't know, Murphy's Law or whatever. But, yeah, let's go over this. So, head... Nice head sculpt there. Looks really cool. Looks very... I remember, what, from what I remember from the movie, it looks very accurate to the actress. This isn't the Jennifer Lawrence one. It's the... I forget who played the other one. Sorry. But hair looks nice. Good wash on that. Great, great face sculpt right there. Great detail. Probably a tampoed print. Probably a tampoed print for everything. But they just mechanically printed instead of actually printed by people. Wouldn't that be horrific? Alright, so down and up. It's another one of those ball uh, peg things on the bottom. It isn't a hinge. Uh, arms go up a lot. Go down, around, whatever you want. Uh, gets a little bit past 90. Goes up and down. She comes with fists, but that's standard right there. Uh, you can actually yank off her arm, I think, and then put in the other one. I wouldn't really recommend it. I don't really like this mid-transformation thing. They could have given us a different head. On this one, it goes up this much. Very far, actually. Goes back and forward. I could use this hand for something. I don't even use this body. Or at least this piece, at least. Kind of easy to peg back in and out. But I don't want to do it too much. Swivel over here, up and down. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, no waist swivel on female body, obviously. Out this much, in this much. Out this much, but it kind of like moves your legs out. Spread. Down. Back. Not so far. Swivel up here. Uh, it doesn't really hit the butt. That's a shame. Goes in that far. Goes down. Goes up. No peg holes. Tiny feet. Eh. I mean, the proportions are very alien and weird, and I think they were going for that. But it's a solid figure anyways. And kind of worth it. Yeah. She's okay. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Domino's next. She's a really good figure. I like her a lot. The head sculpt is really nice on this. Looks really cool. We also have another head sculpt right over here. Similar, but different. One without the goggles, one with. I like the goggle one better. This one looks a little more worried. This one looks a little more confident. Very Jedi looking sort of dress here. She could probably fit into Star Wars and no one would blink. Same kind of ball peg thing up here. Goes around, goes up and down pretty well. Arms go up a lot like this. Goes around. Nearby the hair a little bit. It's a shame. Swivel. 
Elbow. Mm, it's okay. A little better than 90. Wrist goes up and down and swivels around. She also comes with fists. She also comes with two guns right here. They're pretty nice. And they fit into her hand pretty well, actually. Should probably show that off. Yeah, it's easy, simple. They're good guns right here. She also comes with another gun you could peg into this, or at least place into the holster right over here on her side of her leg. Fits very tightly, doesn't really come out. That's very nice. Works out really well. Discarding that. Swivel over here, up and down. Legs go out, legs go in, oh up. Back not too far. Back not too far is a, like a catchphrase of this wave. Goes back. Oh, pinless joints. By the way, we have pinless joints here. Yeah, they look really nice, look very cool. And it's a welcome, you know, surprise. I'm kind of glad. I don't even notice it anymore. I'm just noticing there's bigger figures that have pins, figures that don't, and all the figures you have to redo over time. So yeah, pinless joints from now on be cool. It's not really my thing because I'm not really... I like kit bashing and customizing. It's hard to do without pins to take things off. Back looks pretty good. Uh, I like this belt a lot. It kind of like rides out a little bit, but whatever. Swivel up here. Knee. Doesn't really kick the butt. Pivot. Down. And up. And peg holes on the... Uh, none of the heels, but on the toe. That's interesting. Domino's good. Pick her up. I liked her in the movie. Very good figure. Alternate head sculpt. A lot of accessories. And away, away we go. Josh Brolin was killing it in 2018. He was Thanos, and now he's Cable. I really like this cape. Really nice cape. On the back is this little sort of flak jacket looking thing. On the front, we have these little weird whatever these things. Depth charges, bombs, more bullets. I love his arm over here. His arms go up. This... It's, there's actually hindered over here by a plate, so it can't really go up too much. It goes out though, and this arm is sort of free to do whatever it wants. The head is on one of those same joints, goes up and down, side to side, around all whatever you want. There is a there is a kind of a crunch, but it's more of a uh, chest swivel around there. You get a swivel on the waist. You got a, you got a chest crunch right there too. It's kind of hard to sort of break with this, but I'll get to it. Yeah, I like this sort of like tactical kind of vest thing. That's pretty nice. You could use that to kit bash with other figures. Probably with the new G.I. Joe Firefly. This is a good cape too. I could give this to somebody. But yeah, he also has a little teddy bear over here. I wish it was painted on the eyes and the nose. That would have helped out a lot. The elbow goes up on his flesh arm. Kind of far. That's pretty good. He has the roll of the dice motion on his gun hand over here. On this one, he also has a roll of the dice motion over here, and his arm goes up this far on this arm over here. He has a swivel on his waist, chest crunch over there, goes out pretty far, I like it a lot. Goes in, sitting position is very good. He also can swivel the top of the boot and at the top of his leg and at the boot over here. Let's see how far his... He can, yeah, he can touch the butt, that's pretty good. Goes down, goes up. Pivot very well. I'm actually swiveling the joint and peg holes the bottom of the feet. As far as accessories go, he has a fist for his metal hand over here and a fist for his flesh hand over here. He has this gun over here. He also comes with a pistol and he comes with these attachments for his gun that I'm going to attempt to figure out while I'm on camera live and I don't really want to. I don't know. <laughs> actually, wait. You can slide this over here. I think and just put that on there and that's part of his gun right there and then this piece right here I don't even know where it goes it looks like it goes somewhere I don't know eh, I don't know maybe it went somewhere anyways or maybe it goes on here I'm not sure oh yeah it attaches down here okay so you have, you have an either or with different pieces I preferred this little piece this shotgun looking piece you can like ch -ch yeah Cable's really cool, nice figure, very good paint, very good sculpt, but mostly I just like the character from the movie. You know, Josh Brolin really kills it and knows what to do. I love the face sculpt too. The likeness is great on him, and it's really worth it. The hair's silver, that's awesome! Or at least a dark gray, that's great. Yeah, 
pick him up. He's great and really cool figure. So Tank Top Wolverine is next, and he's just amazing. I really like the way he moves and everything, and it's just kind of perfect right here. So let's let's go over him. The face sculpt is just perfection. It's great. I really like it a lot. So it goes around, it goes up and down. It's another one of those ball peg situations. But look at this face sculpt. It's perfect. It's Hugh Jackman right there. He also comes with the alternate head. And that's even better than the other one. Wow. Very feral. I might just switch it around. I like this head maybe a little more than the just regular one. I'm going to have him just sort of standing there looking. Huh? But yeah, um, he comes with a necklace, dog tags. That's really cool. I like how it's done. Like it's sort of beaded chain. That's incredibly well done. These little joints are really nice. Butterfly joints, finally, on this wave. It goes up, goes down, goes around. You know, we'll just watch out for this little piece coming out right over here a little bit. But yeah, really nice. So over here. Interesting joint. Okay, that goes up really far. That's nice. Goes over the round. Goes up, goes down. He comes with regular claws that are silver and then bone claws that are like a mixture of like kind of like a yellow and a brown. That's pretty cool. I like the, uh, this is even betterly, betterly, even better painted on the, on this one than the other one. So it was around over here. Crunch, crunch back. Some schmutz over there. Let me try to get it. Oh well, whatever. Crunch back, crunch forward, around, out, back, up, really good, back, not too far. Crunch, perfection. I love this mold right here, this leg mold. It's even better on this one because I like this figure a lot. So it goes up here, down, up, pivot, peg holes. Yeah, this is Wolverine for me. I love this, I love this one because I'm so used to seeing him in the tank top. Looks great. Pinless joints, except for the legs. I don't, don't know why. Forgetting what figure this all comes from on the legs. But yeah, he's a wonderful figure. Pick him up. This head is just great right here. You also get bone claws. If you have the other Wolverine, I would suggest swapping parts. And just, yeah, this is a great Wolverine. Well worth it. Oh, don't look so surprised, Deadpool. You know you won. This is great. I just love Deadpool. I love Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. He's a great character, great figure. I like meta, fourth breaking, fourth wall breaking characters. He's just great. So let's go over Deadpool. And yeah, his face is really good. Very neutral expression. I wish they came with a better one, but say la vie. There's a lot of great texturing to the whole body here. All the red parts are all textured really well. And with this like fabric kind of thing, it's very nice, really cool. His eyes are painted really well, as well as the black area around it. Looks very good. It goes around and up, down, pretty good. Also, there's some joint parts at the bottom of the neck as well as the top of the neck, so that works out really well. You get a lot of good range out of him, which is pretty cool. I like this strap right here with the Deadpool insignia right over here. That's very nice. Painted really well. Also, very flexible. Comes, comes Sort of comes apart when you move him around, you know. You can have it move wherever you want it to go. It's very flexible, very good. Nice hexagon pattern in the back. The swords are really cool. They're very small. I like them a lot, and they're very proportioned well to Deadpool himself. This is really neat. I love this figure a lot. So let's go over more articulation. We have arms go out this much. Pretty good. Go in with the butterfly joint very nicely. Goes all the way around as well. Let's swivel at the arm bicep right over here. We have very great range right here. I love this a lot on this elbow. It's really neat. Swivels around here with the hand, goes up and down. Something I don't really like about this kind of though, is he comes with two hands that have black on them, on the backs right here, and then he comes with painted hands. So it's for Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2. His stuff holding hands are silver, and the hands that are just, you know, in the fists also, as well as these. So you can have him holding stuff with these hands, but with not his not holding stuff hands, it's kind of just weird. I wish they kind of went one way or the other, but whatever. Moving back to articulation as well. Goes down, crunch, crunch back, very far, really nice. Swivel right over here, the belt doesn't hinder it at all. We have guns in here that are glued in. I don't mind, I don't really care, I don't really want to give Deadpool guns. I like the swords a lot, you know. They go out over here, the guns are pretty good in that regard. They just sort of bend to the will of the legs, go out very far goes up, sitting position is really good, 
Very nice. Gonna bow the leg down a little bit, but whatever. Goes back pretty far. Actually, that's great. I like how the back range is really good in this figure. Goes up. Doesn't quite touch the butt on this one, but there's nothing on this to prevent it. But yeah, it doesn't really touch the butt. A lot of straps kind of preventing it from moving and then touching the butt. That's fine. I like the shin guards over here. He swivels up on the top. Uh, or did that. Ankle pivot. Goes up this much really far and down really far too. A lot of good paint and detail on the legs. Very nice. He also comes this little unicorn. Very cute and a little bit flexible. Really nice figure. Very cute little static character. Yeah. Deadpool's great. He deserves to be number one. He's an awesome figure and well, well, well worth the Negasonic Teenage Warhead. But yeah, Deadpool's just a great figure and I like him a lot. He also comes with a knife that comes out. The paint kind of rubs a little bit, but who cares? I just keep it in the sheath. Don't really use it too much. Deadpool's awesome. He's well worth the purchase. Oh, he also comes with these guns. I don't really care about it. Honestly, I like the amount of hands. I like the, uh, the swords. I like the guns. I like everything about him. This thing is great. I just don't really need to use all his accessories for him to be a great figure, but he is well, well, well worth it. Well worth it in the end. So overall, this is a solid wave, if you can call it, of figures. They're all really great representations of the characters from the films. The face printing is immaculate and amazing. The sculpt work is really great too. The articulation suffers somewhat in a lot of places, but there's a whole ton of accessories, a whole ton of characters, and I can't wait to see what Hasbro does in the future with the Fox line or other lines from Hasbro as far as movies go. I really love Deadpool. I really love Cable. I love the Wolverine. A lot of great figures and a lot of poor figures, but that's the luck of the draw. If you get some two packs here and there, expect to get one great figure and one sort of poorer figure, but overall they're all pretty good and worthy of a purchase. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!